God lives and works today, but that doesn't mean that the lives of those who believe in Him will be all sunshine and flowers. Even His dearest children are not spared difficult paths. But God has given us a watchword, a key to a tremendous help. Listen to today's meditation by Basilea Schlink. Almost everyone has something in his life which he would like to wish away, a burden of some kind which he longs to be able to shake off his shoulders. In a small way, our lives are like the Israelites when they were imprisoned in Babylon. What did God say to them then, through his prophet? Build houses and live in them. Plant gardens and eat their produce, Jeremiah 29. In other words, he was saying, don't constantly try to avoid your suffering. Say yes to your present situation. Settle down there and make the best of it. But what does this mean for our lives? Perhaps you are sick and miserable. You can't do many of the things that made your life happy before. Then the Lord's words mean, adjust yourself to the present circumstances. Make the best of what you have. Or perhaps you have a job that you don't like very much. Then the Lord is saying to you, First settle down. Make the most of it. Begin to love your job. And what you are able to accomplish there, that do, with total commitment and joy. Gladly for thee, dear Lord, What thou dost ask I'll give, And never rest until how thou dost bid I live thy holy will fulfilling. But God tells us something else too, for he's a father who always has the best advice to teach us how to cope with life. When we've settled down and made our home in our present Babylon, that is, when we've said yes to the difficult leadings of the Lord, then the father will answer us, you will experience, I've already thought up a definite date when I'll set you free. For Israel, this meant a definite time when God would bring them out of Babylon and back to their own country. Satan promises a short-lived happiness, but with God, it's just the opposite. First comes a cross and suffering, but then comes happiness and joy, blessing and the solution to our difficulties. This is true for now, here on earth, and for all eternity. What a heart of love the Father has. You have been listening to a program written by Basileus Schlink of the Little Land of Canaan. To learn more about how God lives and works today, visit us at our website, www.canaan.org. That's K-A-N-A-A-N dot org. If you contact us, we would be happy to send you a free inspirational booklet. If you do not have access to the web, please contact this radio station for our postal address. God bless you.